could spread your love. What if you're sweet? Good morning. I usually wake up by 5:45 a.m. Getting ready for me is very fast. This is the part where my basic granddad is so good at his job. I'm on an autopilot mode and perform my morning routine. Welcome to a day in my work life. I'm an ophthalmology based in Kuching and a mother of three, and I love both my jobs very, very much. Morning skincare and makeup takes me precisely about six point five minutes to make me socially acceptable. <laughs> To that cute footstep, he's here now. <laughs> of course, the baby is awake by now. Maybe there is a star with your name. One thing I, know. I get him something to munch, make him happy. Then I get about my work. It is 6:10 a.m. now, and she's still on the floor. Poor girl. Why can't schools in Malaysia start at 8 o'clock in the morning? I don't understand the rationale of waking up so early for kids nowadays. I mean, last time people tore geta. I understand why 6 a.m. would be considered late, but nowadays parents are working office hour. And usually we start work at, you know, eight o'clock and nine o'clock. So I don't know. I think national school should start at eight o'clock. <laughs> What do you think? Everything in the morning is on a very tight schedule, and we have drilled it down to the precise second. <laughs> Their lunch boxes and I check on Adam's basket. Breakfast to me is non-negotiable. I get irritated if I don't have my morning coffee. You still bring your ping ping around? <laughs> you come for breakfast. Breakfast usually takes me about ten minutes. Baby. And by 6:40 a.m., we are out of the house. This is why I am a firm believer in preparing the night before. What clothes to wear, what earrings to wear, what is for breakfast, what is for dinner, and I fill up my water bottle. I pack my bag all the night before, so that I am ready for the next day. Okay. We usually will listen to Raw by Katy Perry on our morning because we are the champion, man. And I always try my best to give her some positive affirmation in the morning. Whenever I see this morning traffic, I smile <laughs> because well, I feel like we are in this secret little parent pack of sending our kids to school early in the morning. Love is about providing too, and well, that means sacrificing our sleep for their future. I'm usually already parked in the specialist car park by 7:10. This is when I listen to the radio for some news and Cantonese songs as I bullet journal. I check what's planned for the day and I plan for the next day. Today, I write the script of this vlog. This is my precious me time that I enjoy very much in the morning. By 7:45, I walk into the hospital and ready to start my work day. I check for any pending cases which needs my consultants, expert opinion, banter with my colleagues, clean up my workplace. I like to make sure that I have all the forms ready before I start the busy clinic. Refer letters, KKM blood form, and prescription slip. And I'm ready.
protect some people's eye, help some patients, save some sight. And at the end of the work today, I am back to being a mom. She is showing you the things that she got at the stationery shop. And today for dinner, we are having air fried vegetarian meat, stir fry mixed vegetable, air fried chicken wings, some scrambled eggs, and a radish pork soup. <laughs> Adam is my craziest kid. He is a very jolly, fun boy, but also very lazy. I try to get everyone showered and change the pajamas so that I can start to wind down by 7 o'clock in the evening. I seriously don't know why I still bother to vlog at this point. It has proven to be quite impossible. All I remember now that my hair wasn't fully dry, my hair wasn't fully shaped, and after the blow dry, my vanity area was a huge mess. Well, at least I tried. Stars come to shine when it's dark from so far away. Show us where we are. What makes the sun go to sleep every night? This is the aftermath after dinner. And the baby is getting cranky already. Then I change him again into the same pajamas as his brother and settle him down nicely. He wants his milk. It's almost 7 o'clock now. It's about the end of the day. I'm going to be a free man soon. This is Elephant. And he has Elephant. Oh, yo! Elephant on the milk bottle too. He doesn't want, he wants to breastfeed now. <laughs> This is possibly my favorite time of the day. From 7 o'clock to 7.30 p.m., it is playtime. <laughs> Kids are very simple. They can be satisfied with just this, jumping up and down counting 1 to 3. They don't need any fancy toy. It is the happy feeling that warms the body. They have been playing for, I think, 20 minutes. One, two, three, jump! <laughs> and it keeps them occupied for the longest time while I discreetly enjoy some me time scrolling through Instagram. Every evening, we watch the sunset together, and today it has the most beautiful pink cotton candy sunset that we have ever seen. We are enjoying the nice sunset while the boys are screaming outside. <laughs> How was your day? Come to shine when it's dark. She's busy taking sunset with her big uh, phone. <laughs> this is actually my old phone. Uh, 7.30 to 8, I'll make him sleep and then these big kids will sleep at 8.30 and I think that is ooh. And I think <laughs> that will be the end of my day today. I just wonder. After the big kids go to sleep at 8.30, I pop up my new airports and start my work. Today, it is a good day. Thank you for watching.